coming at you from... Do that again. <laughs> coming at you from New Jersey, the capital of misery in the place where we never forgot to die. This is the Here Lies Metal Too Many Notes New Music Review. I am Samantha R. I am Mel Douglas, and we shall be your overlords for today and all of eternity. Today. What are we reviewing today, Mel Douglas? This is a band called Ungodly Rest with their album, their new album, Delusions of an Indoctrinated Void. That's a mouthful. <laughs> yes. What's so, going on here? Ungodly Rest is a death doom death metal band from Mexico. Uh, they are Pest Nocturne on vocals, Rezanatie Protrudum on guitars, and Cinera Mortis Est guitars. Uh, I believe those are all aliases. Do we know what that means? Resonat <laughs> Resonatine Protrudium. <laughs> What was that Latin for? Do we know? I, I did not look that up, Me. but they formed in 2018, and this is their first album after a 2020 demo, uh, released January 10th, uh, independently on Bandcamp and on CD via Metal Coffin Records. All right. So now, once again, it's time for that Here Lies Metal 5-point bidirectional classification scale, including the categories of genre loyalty, listenability, production style, musical complexity, and just plain fun. And remember, once again, folks, neither side of this, neither poles of this scale, um, I mean, good or bad, it's all good, right? So, um, the first question, is this true, or is this nonconformist? I feel like Death Doom can be a little hard to pin down, because there's a number of different styles that I think are very distinct that all get called Death Doom, mostly on how the Doom side is handled. But I'm still going to give this a 1.5 for Extremely True. Um, this is Death Doom in kind of the cavernous, sinister variety, uh, similar to the uh, classic bands like Disembowelments or current bands like Star Spectral Voice. Uh, you know, we've got your big crush crushing riffs, uh, menacing growl vocal, very spooky atmospheres. Uh, but don't be too fooled by the Doom moniker. Like, a lot of this album just fucking goes. It's it's not afraid to hit mid-tempo or even fast tempos I'm from those, like, big ponderous Death Doom riffs, which it does, of course, have. Um, but they are doing the style of Death Doom very well. They're not bending it to outside of that very specific niche very much at all. Uh, the only thing that I find them doing kind of different is their track length. We've got no 10-minute songs on this thing. Uh, we don't even have six-minute songs. It's all five-minute surrender. So that's kind of amazing. But it does it does definitely still sound like Death Doom despite those short songs. Hmm. Um, so many synth intros here. Like every song has got this like synth intro. Not every song. I mean, a lot of them. You know, it was, it was like, oh, here's another synth intro. That was, was kind of cool because that's you know, it's just you know, it's very they kept it very consistent with that. I yeah, I feel like they are definitely trying to keep a theme throughout the mm -hmm. album and, and using the, the synths okay. to like uh, it's like a creepy <laughs> kind of theme with that. And, you know, but I don't know. Either somebody got an analog lab fifty percent off, or those are all real synths. So I don't know, guys. Comment down below. I want to know. Those are those are real or fake because they I can't tell, um, but either way, more of that. It sounds awesome. I like what you did there. Not a lot of people are doing that, so that that's that's a plus. Right. And so the next category is either sonic terror or is it distorted pop? What is it? Well, we have to get like on the terror end, and so we're gonna get a two for sonic terror. Uh, it's Death Doom. Album's very heavy, uh, very sinister. Of course, have a harsh vocal. Uh, but the riffs are sick, like they're they're good and they're interesting. So I think that you know that keeps it from being too terrifying when you're having like a a nice a nice riff. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also the album is only 34 minutes and it flows very nicely, which makes it very listenable. We're having a nice riff here. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, um, this this record is, is is full of surprises for me. Lots of tempo changes, a lot of tempo changes. That's it's kind of a little complex. Um, but yeah, it keeps you more engaged. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, what's next? You know, you don't know. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of chunking rather than all out terror. A lot of chunking guitars. <laughs> you know, and that's not that terrifying to me. So you guys, you don't, you don't scare me. Um, but the, you know, the sound is quite big and warm and pleasant with a big bass, a big sound overall. So yeah, I didn't find that that terror. I find it kind of pleasing. So, so but yeah. it is still death metal, and it, it must be on the terror end. Yeah, it's terror. So. End, but not you know not super terrible terror terrifying <laughs> not terrible I didn't mean terrible I mean terrifying it's a difference um, okay yeah so our next scale the production scale Fisher Price to high production Maldictus what do we have all right so um I give this a three 
straight up three, right in the middle. And now, you know, all the instrument tracks are explicitly clear here. And, you know, for this kind of music, that's, you know, that's, that's kind of a plus. You know, that's kind of a, you know, that's kind of different. You know, no one's being drowned out here despite, you know, this big sound where everyone's trying to be really loud. Um, you know, it's well produced and very well mixed. Um, and, you know, you're able to hear that bass, a very strong bass underneath like music that's really kind of, you know, a, a genre of music that's usually very guitar dominant. Um, but, you know, the overall sound is very dense and, you know, very full. I think all frequencies are accounted for here, you know, at full strength. You know, it's a wall of sound. It's a great wall of sound. So very, you know, very strong sound. I do also want to say, um, I didn't see this on Bandcamp or on uh, Metal Archives, but we have it on an email from the band that said Greg Wilkinson uh, mixed and mastered it, and he does all my favorite death metal, and I think that, uh, you know, so this sounds like a Greg Wilkinson album, and that is true, yes. Guy knows how to use his his knobs. He knows how to use his dials and knobs. good at the, yeah. (laughs) The the, the sliders and the dials and the knobs. He's good at it. So, um, is there not enough notes, or is there too many notes? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're in the middle, just a little bit on the too many notes side, like a three point five for too many notes. Uh, so it's like mostly just like kind of the correct amount of notes for Death Doom, but we're gonna say uh, just they do go I think a bit faster and harder than your average Death Doom, uh, which I almost feel like it puts them in danger of getting their Doom title stripped. Aside from those just like very classic Death Doom riffs that they do return to a lot. But they they do love to go very fast and uh, and to blast and uh, so we, we we're gonna go. They've almost got too many notes, but they're they're good. It's mm. correct. They go hard. They're going hard. Um, yeah, there's a decent amount of riffs going on here, and you know, and those time changes that that counts for the complexity and those synths too. Complexity, it's all there. It's all you know, well worth the number three and a half. So um, yeah, it's a lot more complicated than your average uh, you know genre you know within this genre. So yeah, amazing. Is it fun or is it focused? I mean, it, it's hard for us to interpret necessarily, but I think it's a five for focused. Death Doom is often serious. Um, this stuff, the only st- made me reconsider that it might not be totally serious. There is like a, a maniacal laughing mm. on several songs. Yeah. What did you call it? Yeah, I'm glad they got like Satanic Santa there. <laughs> it was like, ho, ho, ho. It was kind of like that, you know. Was, and also there was this, it wasn't a, a, a sample. Uh, it was a reenactment uh, of The Shining, mm. the scene in The Shining where Jack is trying to get the bat from Wendy. It's the best way to do it is reenact it. Uh, so we have, you know, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a reenactment. I don't nope. know if it was done by, you know, one of the guys in the band and, and one of their friends playing Wendy no or something. No possible but. copyright strikes there. You did it yourself. You know, there's, there's no way it's going to come up in there. You know. I, I really wasn't sure what to make of it, honestly. <laughs> like, it seems silly to me, but I don't know if they're super serious about it. So I'm just going to give them a five for focus. Right. So Fair. All right. So... Now it's for our favorite part. We will discuss um, the arts. What the hell is this? Credit goes to misanthropic art. All right, that makes sense. This is this is the definition of misanthropic. I like the colors. Mm-hmm. Purple. Purple. I like purple. It's, it would fit in well. It went with our t- everything going on here. Yeah, that, that, that works very well. <laughs> I like that. It's different shades of purple. Shades of deep purple. Um, so what we have here is three disembodied spirits. Spirit, spiritual wraiths. Shades, perhaps? Shades. Some sort of D&D character. Coming <laughs> out of a cave, what seems in, under, a, you know, under a wasteland. They're rising out of this cave, and the sky is full of skull. Like a, a skull right there. Um, but this is the ungodly rest, and they're waking up. Yeah, there's a skull in the sky. Yeah, there's a skull. It's like a very misty, beckoning. like burned out forest. Yeah, like everything's been destroyed by the great purple. And the skulls over here, there's a wave of skulls. See, if you can see there's a wave of skulls just coming up. It's like, rah, rah, rah. It's like a tsunami of skulls over here to the right. And uh, there's some sort of like tentacle kind of thing is coming out of the sky over here. I'm not sure what any of this means. The album title is Delusions of an Indoctrinated Void. This is a void. What is, I'm not sure what that means. Um. Yeah, why would a void be in, yeah, it's complicated stuff. But. I, I like the colors happening on here, like the white with the purple happening. I think the, the logo is used very effectively here at the top. It's a cool logo. Yeah, it works very well. The, so, just the color, this color space is, is really cool. The, you know, the color, the palette, as they call it. So, the, or, do, do, so somebody's having like, you know, these, these fantasies, these, these negative fantasies 
of a void that's been indoctrinated by something. But so maybe they're thinking it is it's indoctrinated by something else rather than the thing it actually is indoctrinated by. That's all I can think of. That's all I've got. This void. That sounds right. Yeah, that's all I've got. <laughs> Guys, correct me. Um, but this is the void. It's a picture of the void. And these are the, someone's delusion of this indoctrinated void. So who is indoctrinated by it? We don't know. But that's that's up to them. But either way, uh, nice artwork, though. I like what's going on there. So, yes. All right. To wrap up, Ungodly Rest, Delusions of an Indoctrinated Void. Very cool album. Definitely think you should check it out if you like that kind of death doom. I don't think that kind of death doom happens enough. Uh, hmm. You know, uh, so I, I I appreciate another entry of this. You know, it was, it was cool. It was I, I liked it a lot. It's good. It's yeah, good stuff. Yeah, that was a strong wall of sound. You know, we don't get those often. Wall of good recording. Very good engineering. Very strong. Excellent. Debut album as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. thank you for watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, this has been the Too Many Notes new music review from Here Lies Metal. All right, folks, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to smash that like button. Oh, okay, now <laughs> smash the subscribe button too. You know, stay, that's what everyone's like, smash. No, just press it gently. We don't ruin your keyboard doing this. Um, and and make sure to uh, subscribe to our, our Instagram, um, Here Lies Metal Instagram, right? Um, um, no, Instagram, Metal Lies Here. Um, Twitter, Here Lies Metal, right? You know, mm-hmm. see, see um, Samantha Rice posts every day. And um, yeah, find us on Facebook, you know, Here Lies Metal on Facebook. Facebook is where Maledictus puts his memes. Occasionally, you know, I'll put, you know, if I think of something stupid, uh, you know, I'll put them on there. But, you know, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, words from Samantha R on, on, on the Twitters, you know, every day. So subscribe to that. And we'll see you with another review very soon. Goodbye.